Okay, okay, welcome, welcome. Good evening, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Welcome, welcome. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, welcome. Let me see how many people do we have now on the page. Okay. Welcome, Edwin Alfredo, Francisco, Roxana, Celia, Maribel, Cecilia, perdón. Um, Sara is there too. Jeanette. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Rob. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Hi, good hi, evening. Hi, good evening. Hello, hello. Okay, I, I remember I sent you uh, some exercises. I don't know if you completed. Recuerdo que al final de la clase les envié unos ejercicios. No sé si los completaron, si no los hicieron. Eh, podemos iniciar con ellos para luego compararlos con otros compañeros. Pero si ya los tienen, ¿qué crees? Veamos quiénes de los que ya entraron tienen los ejercicios resueltos. ¿Anybody? Uh -huh. I got you.
Okay. I got the exercise right here. But then we let me see if you. I don't know if you complete it. Just tell me. Me dicen por favor si lo completaron o no. No. No teacher. Oh, okay, you can start doing uh do it now. No problem. Okay, teacher. No teacher. Si alguien no lo tiene, por favor, se lo puedo compartir ahorita también. Para que sí, teacher, lo... compártelo por. En lo que van entrando los demás, eh, podemos ir eh, trabajando en esa parte. De acuerdo, ahorita se los comparto. Good night, teacher. Oh, good, good evening. Good evening. Yo me alcancé a, a, a abrir el, el, ¿cómo se llama? El, 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 el enlace. Sí, no lo alcancé a abrir. Pero ahí está. Ahí se lo he dejado en, en, el, en el chat de, de Zoom. Ah, perfecto, perfecto. Sí, tranquilo. Es para que vayamos aprovechando el tiempo desde el inicio. Ya cuando esté la mayoría, entonces comenzamos a desarrollar. Okay, let me see. We are going to switch up the attendance.
Okay. Well, if you don't have uh, the material, I'm going to share it with you. Okay, I have one second, please. This is just to make the review. Solo será para hacer un repaso. Okay, you have it there. Okay, we have it there. <clears throat> Can I start the answer, teacher? Yes, sure, we can start now. Okay, the first for me is go to the supermarket. Okay, let me see. Okay, go to the supermarket. Uh, okay, let me see something here. Let me see what You can put the yellow here. You say go to the supermarket. Okay, what about the second one? Bye. Second buy. The second one is bye. 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 Okay, let me see. Bye is here. What is here? Okay, what about the next sunshine and onion? Number three? Wash. Wash. Wash your Wash. hand. Wash your hand. Okay, it's gonna be here. Number four. Number four, then number four is we saw then open dry mm. dry and then dry then okay let us try to do it here in this way number five. 
Open. Okay, let us see. Uh, let us do something different. I don't know, maybe some of you have it in a computer. No sé si alguno de ustedes lo tiene en una computadora. Sí? Sí? Yes. Uh, okay, what, what, what I'm going to do is going to be better. Oh, okay, hold on a second. Permitamos hacer algo mejor. Quiero que sea más interactivo. Okay, quien lo tenga, I'm going to stop sharing. Quien lo tenga en una computadora, le voy a dar crédito para que pueda compartir pantalla. Al menos de la primera parte, luego lo hace otro. Quiero que hagamos esto, por favor. Alguien que lo tenga y desee compartirlo. Okay, vamos a ver. puede. No tengo la opción. Activo. Sí, múltiple partido más bien share simultáneo. Vaya a ser donde dice share screen. Que tenga resuelto y comparte su pantalla. Así lo voy a poder hacer. Solo dele clic donde dice share screen. Abuela, voy yo que soy tu hermana. ¿Sí? ¿Alguien pudo? Alguien desde su computador sí lo puede hacer. Okay, Teacher, hace? pero para compartir el ejercicio, ¿cómo? Porque si comparto pantalla, solo me salen todos los participantes de la reunión. Ah, ese es el dato que quiero que aprendamos. Cuando usted le da clic en compartir, le van a aparecer eh, varias eh, ventanas. Ahí va a elegir donde tiene el archivo. Compartir ventana tendría que hacer. Sí, por eso le digo, cuando doy compartir ventana, 
puedo compartir la pantalla donde están los participantes, pero el ejercicio donde luego dice pizarra. Sí, es que tiene que, tiene que elegir dónde está el archivo ese. Las ventanas que tiene abiertas al momento de compartir le aparecen eh, varias. En, en la parte donde dice básico, ah, ahí tiene que, porque le aparece donde están todos los participantes, pero luego en la parte de abajo debe de haber más. O dele clic si le aparece algo donde dice show all windows. Eh, bueno, no sé si vieron, pero solo me aparece pizarra y luego me aparece iPhone o iPad. Eh, no me aparece el ejercicio. Ah, ok. Bueno. Alguien más, alguien más. O sea, si le doy pizarra, me aparece esto. Y es lo único que puedo compartir. Ahí está, ahí está, ahí no... está. Por ahí lo iba cargando. No, pero es que no, no le va a dar pizarra. Ajá. Es, pues solo eso me aparece a mí. Bueno. Y sí, ahí nos, deja, nos desaparece rapidito. Bueno, lo simple que se hace es dar clic justamente en compartir. Luego se elige la, el archivo que quiero y es lo que me aparece. Eso es, es lo más simple. Ajá, pero a mí no me aparece. Sí, ese... no le aparece la opción. Uh -huh. Bueno, bueno, tranquilo, tranquilo. Ah, pero ¿a alguien más se le aparecía o no? ¿A alguien más le aparecía? Yo sí lo podría compartir, pero estoy desde la notebook y cuando abro el archivo se me distorsiona todo, teacher. Ah, de veras. Sí. Es que como no tiene el Office instalado, sino que solo desde la web lo hago, de la nube hago todo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Así como lo tiene ahorita, sí lo creo que lo puedo compartir. Deje ver. Yo tendría que salirme para que lo abra. No, pero no sale su escritorio. Bueno, bueno, tranquilo. Sale. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Bueno, vamos a resolver un par. El resto ustedes lo resuelven en sus casas. Ya habíamos iniciado. Lo que quería es que ustedes lo hicieran de la mejor manera, pero. Ok, tranquilos. Um, let me see. We have the number seven. We say drive. What about number five? ¿Qué teníamos en la número cinco? Do you remember? Open teacher, open the front. Okay, open. Let me try to write down my son. There is five words here. And I will tell you to the same. So, how much Wow, it's too bad. Okay, open the bridge. Number six. Number six. Number six. Add the butter. Veamos quién ya tiene eh, resuelto. Sí. Tiene. Maybe put out the butter. Put out the butter. Teacher, I think that is steak. It is take take the butter. Put put okay, take out the butter. Yeah, because you are going to open the fridge. Teacher, teacher, uh, mm, 
no sería could. The butter. Mm. Cortar. ¿Qué va a cortar? Mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Take no, no, no. Okay, uh, number seven. Take. Take a plate. Espera. Let me see if I got uh, 11 and I got... No podemos repetirlo, I guess. No podemos repetirlo. A play. ¿Cómo sería ahí? Teacher, en la seis, put o put, put out, out the border o take out the border. ¿Cuál oh. es la diferencia? Put out the border. Sí, en la seis. O sea, yo, yo pondría put out the border. Put Pero no sé, take in, la casi igual. Take out the border. Because at the moment that you are going to open the bridge. Al momento usted va a abrir la refrigeradora. Y después. Put that the board. Day. Teacher day. Ok, ahí tenemos que ver. Ok, ok. Veamos, leamos hacia abajo, por favor. The cheese and the onion into small pieces. ¿Qué es lo que hay que hacer? Cut. Cut the cheese and the onion into small pieces. Cut. Ok, vamos a dejar de Cut is the A teacher. Good, the cheese and the onion is. Okay, sería good and small pieces, the cheese and onion and the butter on the bread. Uh -huh. That sería aquí. Put the cheese and the onion good. and the butter on the bread. Okay, number 10, the sandwich. Sandwich. La, la Stephanie, ¿qué es de la lactosa? Eat the sandwich. Eat the sandwich. Okay, number 10, number 10. Eat the sandwich. Eat the sandwich and... And say... Mm, that was nice. And say, mm, that was nice. Okay. And now we can fill the rest. What about number seven? A plate. A plate. Dry teacher. That's right. Mm, what about fine? Fine a plate. Fine. I think it will be go to the supermarket. Hey, uh, buy, buy. Buy some bread. Wash. Uh, Na yes, dry teacher. Seca tus Wash. manos. No. Wash your hands. Oh, no, 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 no. Then... Ah. Luego seca tus manos. Then dry. Yes. Okay. I'm going to do it. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Okay. Open. And what about number six? This stay, right? Okay, ahora alguien que me lo lea, por favor. The moment you want to read it. Para ver si tiene sentido o no tiene sentido. Okay, alguien me lo lea, por favor. I go to the supermarket. 
buy some bread, some cheese, and an onion. Wash your hands with soap, then dry them. Open the fridge, take out the butter, find a plate, cut the cheese and the onion into small pieces. Put the cheese and the onions and the butter on the bread. Eat the sandwich and say, mm, that was nice. Okay, suena bien o no suena bien? Okay, that's it. Okay, let me raise first. I'm going to Okay, I'm going to check up the attendance. Vamos a revisar la asistencia. Para luego proceder a lo que nos corresponde. Hemos hecho un review. Okay, um, another thing that I would like to hear you uh, before I check out the attendance is that you create at least one or two uh, imperative sentences and have it there. And as soon as I finish, you are going to get it, the rest of the class. Okay, America Elizabeth, are you there? Present teacher. Okay, welcome America. Ana Iris. Ana Iris. Mm -hmm. eh, Blanca Esperanza. Present teacher. 
Cecilia Maribel. Present teacher. Edwin Alexis. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Edwin Alfredo. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Uh, Francisco Pereira. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Gabriela Yamilet. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Uh, Gisela Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Okay. Ingrid Geraldina. Teacher, I am Gisela. Okay, tranquila, Gisela. <laughs> okay, estoy teniendo interferencia. Present. Okay, Ingrid. Take it easy. Take, take it easy. Okay, Giselle, ya está su asistencia. Ingrid, bien. Welcome, Ingrid. Ivane Alicet. Ivane Alicet. No. Eh, Jonathan. Present teacher. José Ernesto Alemán. Present teacher. Eh, José Luis Beltrán. Present. Eh, Karina. Present teacher. Catherine. Present teacher. Eh, Paola. Present teacher. Eh, uh, Henry. Present teacher. Okay. Mauricio. Present teacher. Roxana. Present teacher. Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sara. Present. Janet. Present teacher. Yesenia. Yesenia. Jessica Beatriz. Jessica Beatriz. Está Beatriz. Bueno. Let us start talking about the topic. We share with you. Okay, this is uh, session uh, number eight. This is class number eight. And the topic that we are going to study today is how to, to use have to and need to. We already uh, talked about the previous class, but I asked you to create some sentences and I would like to hear you. Okay, oraciones interactivas. Okay, let's sorry. Dime, dime, dime. Hola, hola, hola. Solo uno, por favor. Only one, only one. Please participate. Yes. Please call me when you get home. Okay.
What else? Kemas, kemas. Let's go at the library. Okay. Where's the teacher in my home? Okay. Go to buy a at coffee. Okay, go and buy coffee. Teacher, maybe make your breakfast. You make your breakfast, what else? Okay. Mask, get mask. Teacher, the, uh, open the door. Uh, open the door, okay. Clean, clean your shoes. Clean your shoes. Vean tantas oraciones que hay para hacer. Was the teacher teacher in my home? Okay. Bueno, vamos a hacerlo democráticamente porque no hay alternativa. Okay, América. Luego va Gabriela y después Catherine Beltrán. Sí. Y... Después sigue Paola. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Let me see what can you do. Una oración le tengo que decir, teacher. Um, open the door, cabe. Yes. Sí, cabe. Okay. Give me the book. Give me the book. Okay, no le no le no le di por la diferencia. Tell me again. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice dame? Give me. Ah, give me the book. Give me the book. Ah, the book. Give me the book, please. Give me the book. Yes. Okay, continúo con Gaby. Gaby. Don't touch my toy. Ok, más vale que cambió al final. Iba a decir otra cosa. Ah, ok, ok, don't worry, don't worry. Ok. Another one, otra. Don't take my food. Ok. Continúo con Paola. What about you, Paola? Room, room in the park. Run in the backyard. Cut the paper. Excuse me. Ya no hablo. Cut the paper. Ah, eso es una inteligencia. Cut the paper. Es inteligencia artificial la que está hablando. Esa no soy yo, teacher. I know, I know, I know. Sé de dónde viene el sonido. Lo puede identificar mi máquina. Ok, what else? What about you, Catherine Beltrán? Um, be careful. Be careful, ok. What else? What else? Uh, call me tomorrow. 
Okay, call me tomorrow. Thank you, Cecilia, Edwin, Mauricio, Candy. Come on, wake up, wake up, wake up. Drive the car to the gas station. Okay, what else? Don't eat my bread. Okay. Otra? Teacher, let's Turn go play the... ball. Okay, tuvimos interferencia. Repita, Jonathan. Let's go play ball. Okay, let's go and play volleyball, soccer, whatever you want to play, okay. Okay. Don't make a mess in here. Okay. Uh, let me see, somebody else, Cecilia, Don Jose. Edwin, Mauricio, Candy. Vamos. Write a report for tomorrow. Okay, okay. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Send me money. Okay. Con Edwin, con read Edwin. a book in the library. Okay, read a book and answer all those all this question, okay. Francisco, Karina, eh, bueno, Roxana y Blanca están viviente, Michelle. Come on, I need all of you participate. This is the second week. Come on, you can do it. Teacher. Hello. Eh, 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 la palabra como regresa, red, red. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Return. Return, go back. Okay, return at home. Podría ser? Okay, come back to home. Or return home. You can use buses then. Uh, was birds. Okay, okay, continuemos, continuemos. Los que mencioné, los que mencioné, ¿dónde están? Teacher, what? Correct? Repeat again, repeat again. What's difficult for me to, to hear you? Wash the dishes. Ah, wash the dishes. Wash your hand. Okay. Okay, nice. ¿Qué más? Vean, para hacer este tipo de oraciones no necesitamos mucho. Solo dejamos fuera el, el sujeto, el pronombre y iniciamos con el verbo. Close your eye, open your mouth, be quiet, answer your phone, give me the money. Don't I, go, I go to the cinema. Repeat. I go to the cinema. No, 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 no. no. Go. Go. Sería go to the, go to go the cinema, to the right? cinema. Yeah. Go to the pharmacy. Go to see the doctor. Pero no, no debe de llevar el sujeto. Go. Yes. Teacher, um, um, please be quiet, please. Be, Is correct. Be quiet, please. Be quiet, please. Yeah. Okay. Bueno, los que no quisieron hablar, uh, ahí se quedaron quietos. Ok, let us continue with the topic. Ok. Um, today we are going to talk about these two terms, have to versus need to. Tell me, what do you know about? Vamos a hablar de estos dos términos. Dígame qué sabe de ellos. Y veamos después a ver si acertó. Tener y necesitar. Mm, ok. In a sentence, I have to go to my work. Ah, ok. In the other, I need to do my food. 
I need to do my breakfast. Mm -hmm. Okay, por ahí vamos. Somebody else, ¿quién más? ¿Quién más? Okay, let us read it. Okay, who wants to read it? Okay, I'm going to do it. And later on, I'm going to explain you. Need to. Need to is used when we are using the semi-modal need as a main verb. It expresses requirement. For example, I need to share the sheet. I need to share my schedule. Okay, no pasamos mientras no comprendamos que dice ahí. Okay, alguien que nos diga en, es, en, en español. Por si a alguno le, le hace falta eh, eh, alguna palabrita que comprender. ¿A qué se refiere el semimodal, dicho? Que no es un modal completo, porque si fuera un eh, modal completo, tendría que ser como, por ejemplo, my, can, good. Y en, en cambio este yo lo utilizo eh, como que si fuese un, un modal, pero no, no es un modal en sí. Que expresa eh, un requerimiento de algo. Por ejemplo, dice, I need to change the shift. ¿Qué es lo que necesito cambiar? Las sábanas. Ah, ok. Es una necesidad. I need to change my schedule. ¿Mi horario? Yo necesito cambiar mi horario. Why? Maybe you have a lot of reason. You need to travel by bus and in the bus is not safe. So you need to change your schedule. Teacher, is uh, express requirement to need, entonces. Es como un requerimiento, una expresión de requerimiento, entonces, teacher. It is, it is something like that. Es como un requisito de algo, ¿no? Ok. Okay, I got it here. Okay, talking about uh, requirements. Requirements are what needs to be done for something else to happen. Okay, uh, I, I got the explanation here. Said so requirements are what needs to be done for something else to happen. We use need to to talk about requirements. Have a look. I need to get a flu shot. I need to get a flu shot. What does mean? ¿Qué significa? O, o entendamos primero lo que dice la línea de arriba para estar muy claro, por favor. Sí, 
necesito la vacuna de la gripe. ¿Y qué es lo que necesita? Que lo vacune. El flu, el flu shot. Ojo arriba, ojo arriba. Requirements are what need to be done for something else to happen. Los requerimientos es algo necesario para que algo más pase. Si, si usted se pone la, la, la flu shot, ¿qué va a suceder? No se enferma. Ah, ok. Ok, what about uh, the next example? He needs to get that gun clean up. ¿Qué necesita él? Limpiar su herida, dicho. Ah, ok, perfecto. Para que no se infeste. Okay. Teacher, y logro ver que cuando es como en terceras personas, el need siempre va con ese al final. Yes, because we are talking about uh, present simple. Estamos hablando en un tiempo presente simple. You see, if you are going to use he, she, and it, you are going to get inflection in the main verb. Siempre vamos a tener eh, cambios en los the verbos. Rule is, the rule is a third person. Yes. Okay, take a look at this. Have to. It is used to express obligation or certainty etc. For intense, she has to be on a trip right now. You have to clean the house. Okay, I need that you understand this uh, concept. Necesito que, que comprendamos ese concepto. Se usa para obligaciones. Yes. Que son certain, certain, certain. Esa palabra certain. Sí. Algo que es certero, que es verdadero. Como certeza. Yes. Eh, ahí dice que se usa para eh, expresar obligaciones y certezas, etcétera. Por ejemplo, eh, da dos ejemplos. Vea, she has to be on a trip right now. Yes. Eso de certainty es como evidencia, seguridad incluso. Pero la más fuerte es obligation. You have to clean the house. You have to clean the house. Eso nos está expresando obligación. Podría ser, teacher, you have to take a shower in the morning. You have to take a shower in the morning. Uh, okay, what about, uh, okay, let me see this. Do you consider that it is right to say you had to take a shower in the morning or you need to take a shower in the morning? Um, I need. Ah, okay. Será obligación o será una necesidad? Una necesidad. Uh -huh. We need to be careful about that too. Okay, talking about obligation, we just have to to express obligation, obligation are what must be done. Take a look at the following example. 
they had to clean up after their kids. You have to keep this a secret. Okay, explain it. Explain, please. Dime, dime, ¿qué entiendes? Yo entiendo que la obligación de arriba, la, perdón, la oración de arriba puede ser más bien una obligación, teacher. Solo la de arriba. Nosotros, nosotros ah. usamos have to para expresar obligaciones. And the last one? Okay. Hay que limpiar lo que ensucian los niños. They have to clean up after their kids. Okay, in the last example, you have to keep this a secret. Tú tienes que mantener este secreto. Ah, okay. It shows obligation, not necessity. Okay, take a look at the negative part. You may have to and need to. We follow the pattern below. And I invite you to write down this uh, structure in your notebooks in order that you can create it. Les invito a que esta estructura la tengan anotadita por ahí, para que al momento de crear algunas sepamos cuál es el orden. Do, did, or does, plus not, plus have or need to, just to create some questions. Teacher, el, el did, ¿cuándo es que se utiliza? When we talk about uh, as. Cuando hablamos del pasado. Ok, thank you. Ok, en la negativa, have to and need to convey the same meaning. They both express that you are not required to do something. For instance, I don't have to call for help. I don't need to call for help. Ojo, en negativo, en la forma negativa, I have to and need to, casi que llevan el mismo significado. They both, ambos expresan que usted no necesita, no requiere hacer algo. Por ejemplo, I don't have to call for help. Yo no tengo, no tengo que llamar por ayuda. Yo no necesito llamar por ayuda. Entonces al final significa igual. Eso pasa en negativo, pero no en positivo es distinto.
based on, uh, on this example, you can create your own and you can share it with me. Okay. Teacher, cuando es en tercera persona es she doesn't. Okay, she does. She doesn't have to. She doesn't need to. Thank Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me, please.
Any certain examples? Hello, teacher. Hello, sir. Example for need to, had to, and negative. Okay, yes. And I need to eat some food. I had to go to workplace, or or I have to go to school. Uh -huh. And and I don't need to stop. I don't need to. I don't need to stop. Uh, you don't need to stop. Okay, you don't need to stop. Stop, stop. Okay. Okay, well, somebody else? Uh, I'm, gonna I have... give you... I'm sorry. Sorry. You first. Later. Okay, I'm going to give you uh, two sentences. The first one is uh, with have to. Um, I have to take that exam. And negative. I haven't to eat junk food. Okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? I, I don't sure, teacher, but I have to visit my family in the United States, but I need uh, much money. Okay, you need you need much more, more money. Yes. Okay, but you have to. You feel that you have to visit your family. Okay. Yes. Okay. I need to eat a healthy food. Healthy food. Okay. Yes. Negative. I haven't um it. I don't have it um uh, junk food. Okay. Okay, what else? Come on, love you more. Somebody else?
Okay, let me switch a little bit. We haven't got a big room. You need to eat the cake. You need to eat. You need to eat the cake. Okay. What about if I talk about medicine? Uh, can I use have to or need to? Tell me. Need to. Ah, okay. Okay, in your material, let me show you the place where you are going to take a look. Okay, uh, we are going to take a look of page number 26. Okay, let, let me show you this here. I'm going to show you this here in order that you have a better idea. Okay, uh, right here, uh, let us talk first about what are some of your obligations at your workplace. Let us talk about your obligation at your workplace, how you are going to say it. Tell me. In my case, teacher, I supervise my collaborators. Pero ahí nos hace falta una palabra. I have to ah. supervise. Okay, okay, okay. That is what I want to hear. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más tiene que hacer usted? Let us think at least in three or four obligations that you have at your workplace, and all of you are going to say. Uh, send emails. Uh, but, but, but you miss a word again. Review reports. But I need that you use the, the, the key word. ¿Cuál es la palabra? I, I, have, I, have to, I have to review reports. Ah, okay, what else? Uh -huh. And I have to count uh, money with my cashier okay. in the bank. What else? Um, I have I have to make um, I have to meeting with my collaborators. Okay. Okay. 
Somebody else. Next. ¿Quién más sigue? Terminando uno y vamos con el siguiente. I need that all of you speak. Teacher, podría ser eh, in my job, one of obligation is to take care of the children. In my job, I had to. I had to. Uh, obligation is to take care of the children. Obligation? It is the same as? To take care of the children. I don't know, but I can, I can hear you very well the last word. In my job, uh, one of my obligations is to take care of the children. Ah, okay, I got it, I got it. En vez de decir my obligation, usted solo dice I had to. Ah, okay. Y ya no decimos de la palabra obligation. Ah, no. Podría ser, teacher, I have to prepare the class. Okay. <coughs> what else? Teacher, I have to use the computer. Okay. What else? ¿Qué más? Veamos, veamos. Cada uno, por lo menos, debemos de... I need to check the money. You need to? I need to check the money. Okay. You need to... Because it's a cashier. You need to or you have to? You need to. Okay. <clears throat> I have to start to work at, at 7 a.m. I have to do a cuentas teacher count. I have to do a count. Okay, you have to do a count. And I have to do work quickly. I had to? I have to work quickly. The last word? Quickly. Mm, ah, quickly. Rapidamente. Quickly. 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 No. Quick. Listen, listen, listen. Quickly. Quick. Quickly. Quickly. Yeah. Quickly. Okay. I have to work quickly. Okay, Don Jose. Sí, teacher. Bad obligation in my chats. I have to check the WhatsApp. For the clients. Client, client. Client. Client, client. Read the email or the requirements of the clients. Links in Operation Award Group. Roar. Requirement, requirement. Requirement. Yeah, requirements. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, let, let me ask uh, Karina. Karina Maya, what can you tell us? Karina Maya. 
Are you there, Karina Maya? Or Mauricio Rojas? Yes, teacher. Uh, I have to do my homework. Uh, la otra también sería. Um, I need more, more money. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Jonathan? Okay, teacher. And um, in my job, I had to mail, I had to check email and send. Okay. And I had to mail report for my supervisor. Okay. And I need to prepare, prepare uh, DNA test, DNA test. Repair, repair. Prepare, DNA test. So Maria. Teacher. Hello? Teacher, in my job, I have to send emails, make invoices, make reports, prepare offers, control of the attendance of my coworkers. Okay. Maria? Sí, ¿quién más? Eh, Isela. Hola. Teacher, otra podría ser I, I have to pay the salary. Okay. Well, let me see what else. Okay, let us continue. Uh, we just talk about what are some of your obligations at your workplace. But I don't know why some of you didn't mention anything about. No sé, pero algunos no mencionaron ninguna de sus obligaciones. You are not going to say my obligation. No, I have to. Yeah. Okay, let us uh, practice this conversation. Listen to the patient with the conversation and practice with the pattern. The conversation is between you and Anne. Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I had to provide important information to some customer. That sounds interesting. Okay, any question? So far, Teacher, Hello? Uh, pronunciation. Can you repeat pronunciation about reschedule? Reschedule. Reschedule. Yes. 
Rescatio. Rescatio. Okay, I'm going to read again. Anne, is there uh, something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients and you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I had to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, preguntas, 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 preguntas. No questions? No questions? No, no teacher. Oh, okay, let, let uh, okay, uh, take a screenshot, please. Haga por favor una captura. Okay, uh, uh, when I ask you if we have any questions, that means that at the moment that you are going to read it, you are going to do it to do your best. Okay, I'm going to stop chatting. Um, I got a problem because I have like four as a listener. Tengo como cuatro que están de oyentes. Cuando alguien está de oyente, difícilmente puede interactuar. Voy a crear los grupos, luego los voy a, a, a poner juntos, los oyentes, para que no se me queden solos, porque últimamente estaba haciendo los breakouts con y algunos no se conectan. Okay. Here we go.
Okay, let us practice the conversation, please. What about, let me choose someone. What about you, Candy, Natalie? Will you start, please, Candy? Hello, teacher. Will you start with the conversation, please? Okay, teacher. Uh, my... Se me olvidó cómo se dice, teacher, pero mi compañero fue Francisco. Okay, your classmate is... Your is Francisco. No sé si podría poner la conversación, teacher, o lo hacemos así. Let me share it, let me share it. In another day you can see. Okay, you have it there. Okay. Usted me dice si inicia usted o inicio yo. Inicio entonces. Okay. Um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually I need to call some client and you. Well, I had to risk Rescheduled to marry for tomorrow. They were counseled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I had to provide provide important information to some customer. That some in interesting. Okay, thank you. Let me show someone else. I'm going to look. What about you, Sara? Sara, are you there? Sara? I can hear you. I can hear you, Sara. Hello, Sara, are you there? Okay, it's not there. Okay, what about you, Francisco? Hello, teacher. Hello? Do you remember the name of your Partner? Teacher, él iba conmigo, acabamos de pasar. Ah, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, let me try to look for someone else. Karina Amasia, what about you, Karina? Karina. In, hello, teacher. My partner is um, Edwin. Oh, yes. Okay, with Edwin. Yeah. Let us do it now, please. Okay, Edwin. Okay. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to rush to two meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That sounds interesting. Finish. Okay, thank you. Let me look for somebody else. And let me see. Okay, you shall you shall you shall it there. Hello, you shall. Hello, teacher. Yes. Um, my partner is Jose. Okay. Okay. Jose, you're 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 fierce. Hey, and if there's something you need to do tomorrow. 
Yes, actually, I need to call someone clients, and you? Well, I have to rush to two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. Doubt some interest. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me look somebody else. Bueno, hoy así lo voy a hacer que participen porque algunos no quieren hacerlo. Cecilia, what about you, Cecilia? Hi, teacher. Teacher, a mí no me dejo con nadie. Igual de una manera yo la practiqué, pero no, no tengo compañero. Ok, I'm going to... Igual, igual a mí, teacher, yo no tengo compañero. Ok, I was moving. Bueno, si no tienen, ahorita pueden trabajar juntas. Ok. Lo único que hay un micrófono que me está dando interferencia. No sé de quién sea. Just decide uh, who is going to be John and who is going to be Anne. And you need to go tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sound in internity. Customer, customer. Customer. Okay, I'm going to read again. Uh, and is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some client and you. Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That sounds interesting. Ahí está para que se corrijan algunas cositas. Let me see somebody else. ¿Quién más? Veamos, veamos, veamos. Paola Jovel. Are you there, Paola? Yes, teacher. Ajá. Ok. <laughs> My parent is Catherine. La. Okay. Yes. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Okay, teacher. Eh, bien, Catherine, ¿sería usted John o, o Anne? Eh, Anne. Okay. Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They oh. were canceled today. Oh, that's so bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Interesting. 
Okay, thank you. Let me see somebody else. No falta. Se me están escondiendo. What about you, Ingrid Calderon? Do you participate or solo me indica? So please tell me. I already participated. But if not, try to look for your partner and start. No stop. That is a problem to have our camera. See, teacher, I got to. Ah, yes, okay. Mr. Decian can stop. Yeah, yes, stop. Okay. What's your partner? Eh, por un momento me ocupé y no, 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 no me, no me di cuenta en qué momento ella tuvimos que hacer. Okay. Okay, let me see uh, Don José Alemán. Let us see Don José. El teacher. Ahí sí está la compañera. Aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Bueno, iniciamos. Y yo inicio ahí con John, ¿verdad? Sí. En este some something you need to tomorrow. Yes, actuality. I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to reach to medium for tomorrow they were Ketchup today. Oh, thanks. Too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. Thanks. So interesting. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let me show you the book. In the material, uh, we have how to use have to and need to. We have some very express obligation or need. Uh, we talk about how to and need to. And the activity, for example, I have to prepare a document for my course. Or also I can have, I need to prepare a document for the course. Both of them are going to mean obligation. Okay, and something else that I mean that you do is just the activity number four, write about something you have to or need to do this thing. But uh, I'm not I'm, I'm going to do it. Okay, start the new interference. La actividad cuatro, write about something you have to or need to do this day. When, what time, and where. Try to write at least five. Okay, it's going to be a homework for you. And another thing that we are going to talk tomorrow is uh, activity you have to do or need to do in your job. You are going to make a list, your list, and your classmate is going to be here this side. And then you are going to share it with the rest of the class. Well, I guess that all of us need to go to sleep, need to rest a little bit, right? But before that, I need to check up some thesis from the university. Ah, I'm using, I'm showing obligation, you know? And uh, somebody can say, um, I had to prepare my dinner, for example, somebody could send that way. And another one could say, okay, before I go to bed, I need to take my medicine. Okay, any questions so far from here, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. 
están callados, no sé qué les pasa. Okay. No, teacher. No sé, no sé qué les pasa. Hoy... No question, teacher. Hoy... Any question. Hoy he tratado de involucrar a todos, algunos los encontré fuera de cancha porque cuando les lancé el balón no me, no me, la, no me respondieron. Así que creo que por ahí vamos atacando, porque es necesario que todos eh, participen. Todos deben de participar para desarrollar sus habilidades. Ok, let me check out the Atenas, America, Elizabeth. Say hello. Present, Ok, Ana Iris, Ana Iris, Ana Iris. Me apareció Ana Iris. Eh, Blanca Esperanza. Blanca Esperanza. No, no, Blanca Esperanza. Cecilia Maribel. Present teacher, good night. Ok, good night. Eh, Edwin Alexis. Present teacher. Ok, um, Edwin Alfredo. Present teacher. Good night. Ok, good night. Eh, Gabriela Yamilet. Present teacher. Okay, before you go, you are number A in my list. And this is class number eight. Antes de que se me vaya a retirar, usted es la número ocho de la lista. Hoy tenemos la clase número ocho. A usted le corresponde los diez minutos al final. Así que, I have to see you at the end of the class. Prepare sus preguntas que tenga ahí. Eh, Gisela. I am here, teacher. Ok. Uh, Ingrid. Ingrid. Present. Ok. Uh, Ivania. No there. Ok. Jonathan. Present, teacher. Jonathan is there. Uh, Jose Ernesto. And here tonight, everyone. Okay, good night, Jose Luis Beltran. Present. Okay. Eh, Karina Vanessa. Present, teacher. Okay, uh, Catherine Maricela. Present. Catherine Paola. Present, teacher. Natalie. Present teacher. Hello, okay. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Roxana. Present teacher, good night. Bye, Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, um, Lopez Lopez, Sara. Present. Janet. Present teacher. Yesenia. It's not here. Jessica. It's not here too. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Don't forget to read the material and uh, try to resolve all the exercise in the platform, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on a second. Ah, my goodness, I'm going to resend this. And I remember I asked you to do this, uh, Paola. Ahora sí es más fácil para poderle ayudar porque me pidieron justamente esto. Ok. Bueno, ahí estamos. Bye bye. Take care. Teacher. See you tomorrow. Teacher. Ok, Paulita. Eh, Good night, teacher. Good night. Voy a enviar teacher. los datos eh, y por ahí le van a escribir al privado. De acuerdo, teacher. Gracias. Ok, bye. Okay, good night, good night. Good night, teacher. Take care, take care. Good night. Good night.
Bye, bye, see you. See you, see you. Okay, Gabriela Ramirez. This is you, Gabby. Okay, let me know if you have any question about any topic that we have already started. Me va diciendo si tiene alguna duda referente a algún tema de lo que hemos visto. O si, esto, si todo está bien, usted me dirá. Pues hasta el momento, teacher, sí lo voy entendiendo todo. Lo único que, digamos, cuando nos ponen oraciones largas, hay, hay verbos que sí no me los puedo. Pero por eso voy a ir preguntándole... El, la pronunciación o significado porque igual lo anoto porque en otra ocasión lo puedo utilizar y así voy tomando bastantes apuntes ok, perfecto, eso es bueno y con la plataforma sí quería preguntarle si no hay problema en que yo pensé que la plataforma era completa, no era por semana sino que era completa y yo la completé Sí, así vi que agarró una tarea enorme y dijo, termino esto de una. Y yo dije, wow. Me preocupé porque decía ahí que, que, o sea, dijo, tienen hasta el viernes. Y yo dije, son cinco actividades las que hay. Entonces es una por día. Dije, yo la voy a terminar lo más rápido que pude. Y lo que hice fue, este, buscar en Google de, de los temas que hablaba el video. Porque ahí dice, ¿verdad? Eh, sale el mismo video, pero arriba del video decía el tema del, del, del cual se iba a tratar el video. Así que pues yo lo que hice fue investigar acerca del tema, buscar ejemplos, oraciones, y, y ya de ahí pues iba viendo el, el, el ejercicio y lo iba haciendo. Pero primero practiqué, o sea, y, y vi el tema. Muy Pero bien. sí, yo pensé que todo era para la semana y... y no, no, no. Y, eh, sí. sí, cada sección es una semana. Y me preocupé bastante porque ya antes había estado estudiando, pero eran 25, prácticamente eran 25 actividades por unidad. Sí. Y, y do, eran dos unidades por semana. Sí. Vaya, y al, al ver que eran bien poquitos los ejercicios, dije yo, que tengo que terminarlo, dije, y, y pues ah, yo solo me puse a, a estudiarlo, pero no sé si habrá problema con eso. No, 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 problema no hay porque ya lo tiene adelantado, sí. Eh, nosotros vamos step a step, vamos pasito a pasito para que ustedes vieran eh, los contenidos. No, no vamos corriendo solo pasando la página, sino que... Eh, vamos despacio para que de esa manera usted capte, grave el vocabulario nuevo y así lo va a ir poniendo en práctica más adelante vaya, pero en todo caso siempre lo, lo podría como volver a hacer ¿verdad? Mm, si ya lo tiene hecho y la nota que tiene está muy bien ahorita tranquilo ah, no había problema no Sí, porque y como tampoco tengo mucho, mucho tiempo disponible, ¿verdad? Ok. Y ya el tiempo que me quedó disponible, pues dije, yo lo voy a meter ahorita que tengo tiempo, dije, y, y sí, yo pensé que era todo para el viernes. No, no, no. No me imaginé que fuera para... Sí, por es... eso le pregunté, por sí. eso le pregunté aquel día. Sí, es por... Ajá, para... Ya ver, para... Pues... para el... Para el próximo mes ya voy a saber okay. qué es por, por okay, semana. Okay. Sí. Sí, sí, pero solo esa era mi, mi, la mayor duda que tenía, sí, solo esa era. Ok, excelente. Thank you for your time. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night and take care. Have a good night, teacher. Thank you.